We have a look tonight at some high-tech help for people born without irises. As Dr. John LaPook reports, there's now a surgery letting people see and be seen in a different light. When Alana and Avner Fink were planning their wedding earlier this year, they had to choose a color. Well, first I joked I wanted purple. Originally I was thinking, oh, blue, blue is my favorite color. Not for napkins or bridesmaid dresses, but a color for Avner's eyes. That's because he was born without irises, which give eyes their color and regulate the amount of light that enters. Bright sunlight used to create tremendous glare. So did lights at night. When we would walk down the street, especially at night, I know I could tell that he needed more help from me. He found help at the Wills Eye Hospital in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where Dr. Brandon Ayers is pioneering a surgical procedure to implant an artificial iris for patients with missing or damaged irises. This iris prosthesis finally helps this relatively large subset of patients who prior had no real options. It's about the size of a lifesaver. The silicone iris was specially made for Fink. I'm hoping that it'll work and that my life will be better. This spring, he had the surgery on his right eye. By July, he no longer had to use a cane to walk at night, and his distance vision had improved. He just starts reading road signs to me, and I'm like, what are you, oh, okay, he's, he's excited that he can see the signs. <laughs> As for the eye color, in the end, they didn't go with purple or blue, but a lovely shade of hazel. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.